Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is the Zoom F series recorders time code operation. Now the reason I'm returning to this subject, it is a favourite of mine, is for two, well actually two reasons. One, um, I have the F8N on loan from uh, Martin at Soundkit. Thank you Martin and I'll put a link to Soundkit down below. Um, but secondly, I've seen some chat on the internet about the uh, operation of the timecode uh, in the F8 and F8N and the F6 while you're powered down, because when you're powered down, the timecode clock is not backed up. However, they've implemented this thing, which I have spoken about, saying that they take the real-time clock and they calibrate it and then they run um, the, uh, the, 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 the pick up the time code from the, that when you repower up your uh, machine after lunch or whatever. So just how accurate is that? Well, in order to find out, excuse me, step another shot, um, I got one of these. Now it's a, it's a, it's a kind of classic. <laughs> it's not winning any prizes for looks. It's a Denica GR1 uh, uh, master time code generator, but it also has a time code comparison function where if you uh, uh, squirt some time code in the back, um, you can uh, on the front panel display um, examine the time code down to a t the difference between the input and the internal code to a tenth of a frame, which is uh, pretty neat. So um, I'm going to be using that. So I've got my uh, F8N and I got my uh, uh, trusty F6. And um, what I'm going to do is before I look at the um, uh, the accuracy when the machines are powered down, what I'm going to do is check the baseline accuracy. And the reason for that is that um, in my using the, 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 the F6, I found it very, very accurate. And um, I check in the specs, it's quoted at something like half a frame in 24 hours or something like uh, uh, a quarter of a part per million, a fifth to a quarter of a part per million, which is pretty impressive. So time to test uh, the, the F6 and the F8N when they're both powered up. Let's have a look at some figures. Here we see some results for the F8 and the F6 powered continuously and compared using the Denica GR1. I've included my venerable ambient Locket 203 for interest. There's a table of drift figures here for the Locket 203 for the F6 and the F8N compared over 9 hours and 12 hours. Of course, in normal operation, we would want to be rejamming to escape these long intervals, but life sometimes just isn't like that. Remember, Zoom quote their clocks at 0.2 parts per million or half a frame in 24 hours. And if we look closely, that seems about right. If the Denica GR1 is at plus one frame after 12 hours, and that's not um, totally out of the question given it's a vintage bit of kit and the crystal clocks drift with age, but worth bearing in mind, that's the baseline clock drift, not a change in the parts per million accuracy. So if we estimate that the GR1 is running one frame fast in 12 hours, then the zoom clocks are at plus and minus a fifth of a frame for the F6 and the F8N respectively, pretty much supporting the zoom technical literature. My ambient is then running one frame low in the 12 hours, giving it a two frame spread from the Denica GR1. All seems pretty reasonable to me. And so at the end of stage one, hats off to zoom timecode engineers. And indeed to Denica, I should point out that my GR1 is 25 years old and I've had some superb technical support for it from Denica. And if you want to run all day, every day without rejamming, I should point out their JB1 is accurate to 0 0.1 parts per million. Good stuff. So I think all the indicators are that um, these two Zoom recorders hold pretty accurate time code when switched on. No need to worry about that, I don't think at all. How about though the performance when they're powered down for a period? And I've seen uh, some guys saying, well, uh, for two hours, uh, it'll keep, um, it'll keep uh, code pretty tight. I'll stretch that a little bit because I can. Um, let's have a look at the figures. And now the picture is quite a bit different. The table shows figures for a power down period of three hours and 10 hours. And yes, I know nobody gets three hours for lunch. Uh, during the power down, the Zoom machines are relying on their real-time clocks, which are battery maintained, but not as accurate as the timecode clocks. And you can see the difference. In the three hour power down, the F6 and the F8N are pushing towards two frames out. 
and double that after a 10 hour power down. So there you are, there's a definite difference, uh, measurable difference between the F6 and uh, the F8N in powered up mode and when powered down, which is kind of what you'd expect. Now, uh, obviously the right thing to do is after you power it down, when you power it back up after lunch or you've changed location or whatever, is to rejam, resync uh, all your time code devices. However, A, they don't always give us time to do that. And B, sometimes we forget. And uh, so if you're worried about those discrepancies, what I'd say is the F6 is a battery monster. It really is. It, 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 it'll run all day on a decent battery. Maybe you don't power it off at all. Now, the f 8 ends a bit more of a battery guzzler, um, but it does have um, a high rose input and it does have um, AA options built in. So why not uh, keep some AAs in there, nice and fresh, and then uh, they'll cover you when you change uh, the battery input um, to, uh, to the high rows. Well, there you are. That's uh, a look at uh, F8 series uh, time code from Zoom. Um, I hope you've enjoyed your stay. Do subscribe, it does help. Come back soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.